good is that Jeff's defense? It's a good, good defense, man. They, uh, they play very hard. They're coached really well. They got some really good players over there. Um, obviously, playing these division games, teams see it twice. They, they kind of know what you like, uh, know what you typically like to do. Uh, so they can kind of game plan around that uh, a little more specifically. So, um, you know, early on wasn't great. I thought second, third quarter kind of got into a little bit of a rhythm, and uh, we just got to we got to finish better. You know, we got to end end the game with the ball in our hands, and um, you know, not put that much stress on our defense. You know, but our defense played, you know, a heck of a game tonight. I thought they, uh, you know, uh, stepped up. Obviously, the news of Vaughn last week and this and that, but our guys came out and they were fired up and uh, they played really well tonight. Josh, what do you think was that attributed to the, the, the first half struggles with the offense, Try to get that rhythm? Um, I, think, I think we hurt ourselves early on, um, whether it be decisions or um, penalty here or there, just kind of you know, put us out of funk and uh, put us into some second and third and long situations, which we got to stay out of. Um, you know, I, I don't know what we were on third down tonight, but I know it wasn't, it wasn't good. Um, so that's something we got to clean up on. And obviously, typically, during the season, we're, we're good on third down. So... Um, Again, credit to credit to those guys. They came out and played hard. Josh, you got a little something going out of empty when you spread them out. The days pass without an empty. You know, just what do you think about that? Just spreading them out, helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think as a quarterback, you love love to have you know uh, that type of offense where you can see everything. And um, you know, we felt like the, the empty was going to give them some fits in terms of you know the coverages that they would check into and where our guys were located out on the field. Um, so we just kind of rode that for a while, and it was uh, pretty beneficial for us. Hey Josh, the play where Dawson got under center through the penalty. How often do you guys practice that? Uh, it's been it's been uh, every Saturday for maybe the last 11, 12 weeks. Um, I thought it was a heck of a call, and I'm just glad we got it. That's uh, those are the good ones. I think we scored on that drive too. So did we? Yeah. yeah. That was my follow-up with the touchdown. Dawson, when you yeah. saw that one. Yeah. Again. Uh, Guy's doing their job. Um, he gets a guy to, to jump off sides and ends with the touchdown. And obviously he ran a heck of a route and made a, a, a heck of a Superman heroic performance type dive there to get in. So, um, again, guys just want to just want to win football games here. Josh, obviously same for both teams, but would you concede that that was a tough day to play offense? Uh, for sure. But, again, it was, it was tough for them too. I don't think the elements were um, all, that, all that out of the ordinary for here. And I think it's something that we've practiced in before, we've played in before. Um, you know, we just got to find a way to, to be better. Josh, that one. Again, the, uh, was that kind of like they pulled and cleared the way for you? Did you see pre-snap to look, look good to you, or how did you describe that? Play? Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's really just a read off that, that defensive end there, and I felt like he got some width with James and just followed, followed the guys in. That's all it was. Josh, the long run that ended in the hurdle, uh, can you take us through that play? and? Seemed like you needed all all the the hurdle there to get the first down. Yeah, I guess so. I uh, third down, obviously, I think it was third and twelve or thirteen. Uh, stepped up. I felt like they were man coverage. Um, just started going, and uh, there was just somebody kind of there. I didn't know where anybody else was at behind me to my right side, so I didn't feel comfortable kind of you know putting my shoulder down. Um, not to say that jumping over anybody's any better, but uh, yeah, worked out. Is there concern that this about playing in those two minute scenarios? It feels like you guys on offense had a lot of success after the Mosley jump off sides. You guys kind of clicked at that point. Yeah, I, I just think we're so well equipped in terms of what we do in our offense, um, some of the play calls that we have, um, you know, how we're able to get to the line of scrimmage fairly quickly and call some exotic pass plays. And um, I think that just kind of, again, when you're going two minute on the ball and the defenses are sitting there, typically they, they can't get into anything exotic. You know, they're they got to get ready for the ball to be snapped. So um, I think it just puts them on their heels a little bit. And again, uh, we've got so many different ways we can get the ball to our guys in those types of situations that I think it's a, it's a pretty big help for us. Offense has struggled to get, this offense has struggled to find its rhythm for about six games now. Is that a concern for you? No, we're 10 and three. You know, find ways to win football games. And um, I know that's not what you want to hear, but um, just playing complimentary, smart football. Um, you know, not putting ourselves and our defense in bad situations and, um, you know, just trying to try and win football games no matter how it happens. It doesn't look like an offense that's gonna, good enough to win the Super Bowl right now. Okay. Josh, on, uh, on, you, you speak about the, the exotic looks. One thing that I, one nice little wrinkle to Stefan Diggs coming out of the backfield probably was the biggest play of the game on that 32 yards. Why not go back to that after you found some good success? Um, again, we just understand the flow of the game, the type of weather uh, that we were getting. Um, 
again, not, not making bad decisions and just you know, allowing our, our defense to go out there and play free and, and not put them in bad situations. How much of a factor was when Clint Williams went out? I mean, that's a great player. You had to score with him on the field. I mean, I, I mean you're not going to pin that on the win, but was that a kind of a key point in the game that happened? Uh, well, one, I hope, I hope he's okay. I'm not, I don't know the extent of, of the in injury. Um, he, he's a heck of a player. He really is. And um, he, he's a nice guy on the football field, too. You know, we were talking a little bit before. Um, obviously, he went down there, um, but he's a heck of a competitor, a heck of a player. Um, yeah, I'm sure anytime you lose somebody that like that on your on your defense, it's going to hurt. Austin had a big play today. He had a big one in Kansas City, but it's been less of those than a year ago. Has his role been different in your opinion? Do you think it's been different things needed from him, and maybe that's why there hadn't been as many big plays from him? I think every every game, the flow of it's different. Um, you know, incorporating different guys. Obviously, trying to switch it up. Uh, he's been doing such a good job in our in our run game uh, in our pass protection. Um, but again, you see the type of weapon he is with the ball in his hand. So, again, just finding new ways to to get him the ball and um, allow our guys to make some plays for us.